Make sure to stay until the end, we will explain what you need to do guys, okay, when you replace crankshaft position sensor because otherwise you may get uh, problems and your car Fiat Alfa Romeo not to run good again. Hey guys welcome back to electrical car repair life thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be super helpful video to any of you having a fiat or alfa romeo we have check engine light on and code p0335 stay with us we'll explain how to fix that and one thing you should always do when you guys replace that sensor that causes that code otherwise your car may not be running correctly so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here in the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tool supplies from and you can save a ton of money so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here this is a fiat guys fiat but how oh, for romeo will be about the same because practically it's the same company for instance that fiat uh, fire 1.4 engine has been used in more than five models of fiat vehicles and more than four models of alfa romeo cars guys so uh, practically they function about the same but now what to look for if you have code p0335 that means that you have problems with the crankshaft position sensor this sensor is the one that detects the position of the crankshaft so it can actually send that to the engine computer which will uh, need for uh, uh, when to do the ignition when to spray fuel variable timing all that stuff so this is the connector in our case for the crankshaft position sensor inspect to make sure it's plugged in i recommend okay to when you connect it later make sure you uh, push the safety pin in uh, remove it make sure it's clean not dirty it's not loose also uh, one thing to consider guys okay is uh, you need to go ahead okay and inspect the wires to make sure that they're not pulled out sometimes people will try to disconnect them and they will yank the wires out now another thing guys that can happen the wire often will be close going to the exhaust system when it goes to, uh, to the exhaust system what can easily happen uh, it, it can actually come loose out of the bracket touch the exhaust the catalytic converter it's so hot melts and practically okay uh, that will uh, break the connection and you will get that cold and third it's very likely we have a bad crankshaft position sensor if that's the case okay we'll have a video how to test crankshaft position sensor on fiat alfa romeo and find out if it's working or not uh, and uh, uh, if you want to see how to replace crankshaft position sensor on fiat alfa romeo we'll have the video on the channel it will teach you how to do that and now it's important when you replace the crankshaft position sensor to do a rewarn procedure if you do not rewarn or calibrate uh, to calibrate the crankshaft position sensor it will not work correctly and you can get code p1300 uh, or the car uh, not running correctly because of that as well hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time